All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord, and we are two days out from the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And you know what? Things have changed. Now that Nick Walker has dropped out of the competition, I have to adjust my Mr. Olympia men's open predictions. And so coming in fifth place, I had Brandon in sixth. Everyone has bumped up a spot. But you got to watch the full video to see where I have everybody. Things might have changed. Right now I have Brandon Curry in that fifth position. He was in sixth. I'm moving him up to fifth. I think Brandon is going to probably come in at his all-time best. But even with that being said, unfortunately, I just don't think it's enough to beat the other guys that I have ahead of him, which I'll announce shortly coming up. Uh, and that's where I have him. If he comes in so overwhelmingly improved, the legs are on par, the glutes and hamstrings are shredded more than they've ever been, he can move up a couple spots. He could get as high as third place. But I do not see Brandon Curry winning the Mr. Olympia again. I just, I don't see it. I would love to see it. I'm a super fan of Brandon Curry. But he just, in my opinion, doesn't have the tools now to beat these up-and-coming new athletes that have the same aesthetics as he does, the same lines, but they just are bringing more conditioning, just a more overpowering look that than Brandon brings to this day. Don't get me wrong, man. Brandon is right in the mix, but when it turns around, this is where I'm leaving it at, the back double bicep, when the glutes and the hamstrings, it's just there's something missing. Even in the upper back area, you can see the separation. There's, it's like there's like that thick skin back there still. And it's just, I don't think there's anything he can do about that. All right, so we're going to transition into Andrew Jacked, who I have now in fourth place. And uh, this guy could surprise a lot of people, though. Right? He has all the tools to be a Mr. Olympia champion. But does he have it all together? Does he have does he have the right coach for one? Right? Does he have the work ethic to get the body into the conditioning that it needs to be to show off those hamstrings and glutes like Ronnie Coleman had, like Phil Heath had, right? Like Jay Cutler. We don't see that on Andrew at this point. Yes, he has tremendous shape, symmetry, very aesthetically pleasing physique. But when you turn around, this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm always going to leave it at the back shots because that's where the shows are won and lost. And if Andrew Jack cannot bring in the hamstrings and glutes, he's just going to be that in that top five range in the Mr. Olympia. And I just don't think he can propel himself any further than that if you don't have those hamstrings and glutes. It's very glaring when you turn around and see that. And the hamstrings aren't shredded like the others are. It's very obvious. So, all right, we'll transition to Samson Dada, who I have in third place. I know a lot of other, you know, podcasters out there have Samson higher. Man, hey, I have no problem with Samson winning the Mr. Olympia this year. He has, he could do it. Um, but I just don't think that conditioning from the back is going to be there. You know, looking at the shots from 2022, Mr. Olympia, you can see his conditioning was an issue, although he has improved that when he did the Arnold uh, last March. He did improve. The glutes and hamstrings are still an issue. They, they're not shredded like Phil Heath. They're never gonna, They're never going to be like that. So can Samson win a Mr. Olympia without shredded, peeled glutes. Have we ever had a Mr. Olympia without shredded glutes? No, we haven't. Hadi Chupan shredded glutes. Derek Lunsford in the 212 shredded glutes. Jay Cutler, Phil Heath, Doran Yates, shredded glutes. I'm sorry, Samson, he doesn't have that. Is he going to be able to win? And I don't know. We're going to see. You know, he's got to bring that level of conditioning that 
makes you an Olympia champion. And he's not there yet, from the back at least. From the front, he destroys guys. Right. Now, moving into Derek Lunsford. Most people have Derek winning this show. I just can't give him the, sh- the win yet. I don't think it's his time to win this show yet. He's got to work for it. He's got to work for it. This is the Mr. Olympia. Right? And you can't just give it to him because he has great lines and he's popular and he's well-spoken. There's more to it. And I think people get caught up in the, the hype of Derek Lunsford and think that he's just due to win. No. You got to put in the work. You got to have that muscularity. You got to have that conditioning from the front and back, not just the back. You, don't, you can't just have a great back and win the show. It's not enough, in my opinion, for him to be the Mr. Olympia champion. He needs to work more. He needs to pay his dues more before he wins that Mr. O. And he's not there yet. Can he win it? Yes. I definitely think Derek Lunsford will be a future Mr. Olympia. And if for some crazy reason he wins this year, I'll be okay with it. But I just feel like, man, they need to push him more. They need, they need to make, the judges need to make him work more. Don't give it to him yet. He's not ready. Right? And you're going to see with these photos that I'm showing you right now. This is from last year's Mr. Olympia. He's got a little of that thick skin in the upper back too. But this is the shot. This is the shot. When you put him next to Hadi Shupan, Hadi destroys Derek Lunsford in this pose. Absolutely annihilates him. Through the chest, the arms, the front quads. Hadi's got feathers, striations in the quads from this shot. His chest is ridiculously shredded compared to Lunsford. It's night and day. This looks like an off-season look almost. There's no muscularity through it. There's no definition. Speaking of definition, my first place prediction, and I'm sticking to it, Hadi Shupan is going to be a two-time Mr. Olympia champion Saturday night. Mark my words. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm sticking to my pick of Hadi Shupan winning Hadi Shupan is a veteran. He's been keep competing way longer than Derek Lunsford. Paid his dues. He comes in shredded. He comes in muscular, vascular. He outlifts Derek Lunsford. That's for damn sure. He's got the work ethic. Sure, he doesn't speak good English, if, if any at all. Does he promote the sport of bodybuilding? Not as much as the others can do. But I'm telling you that Hari Shupan, if the judges judge the show properly based off conditioning, size, symmetry, and an overall complete package, Hari Shupan should win. Now, people say, oh, well, his delts are a little pointy. His waist is a little on the thicker side. I don't see it. I, his waist in that shot doesn't look thick to me. Okay, so just remember that Hadi has all the tools. He's won the Mr. Olympia already. And I'm sick of these Olympias going back and forth to different guys. Like, we need a reigning Mr. Olympia again. I feel like Hadi can be that guy. You know, it's about the physique. It's not about how many followers you have or how well-spoken you are. And I feel like Heidi deserves to win this show. And coming Saturday night, he's going to hold that trophy, that Sandow trophy up in the air again and take home win number two. Leave a comment below if you disagree with me. I want to hear it. I want to hear you have winning. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. If you think I have my placings mixed up, let me know. Leave a comment below. Will Hadi Shupan win the 2023 Mr. Olympia? All right, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for the support. Peace.